I'm Malik Mercy. I am a sophomore journalism major at Ithaca College and a journalist, a student journalist, and I like to consider myself a next-gen storyteller and I like using modern day tools like Instagram stories to tell the stories of my generation. Back in 2018, uh, Instagram reached out to me and asked me to host their coverage of the March for Our Lives. I'm high up over the crowd here at the March for Our Lives. You can see the hundreds of thousands that have come out. They are now chanting, vote them out. Uh, and it's something that many of the speakers have brought up. Being able to just take a phone and go all over and share so many different pieces of the march um, was just surreal. Just huge exposure for me and an amazing opportunity that really changed my life. Washington, D.C. to tell the stories of my peers, the March for Our Lives. Take a look at the crowd behind me. March has now mobilized, taking to the streets of Chicago, chanting, the NRA has got to go, enough is enough. You can see the signs, the energy, the people. This fight isn't letting up. My name is Skylar Eagle, and I'm from Albany, New York. So last semester when I was reporting, I did a lot of work around food insecurity and kind of reporting about that as an issue on campus. Working with the Center for Strategic and International Studies was amazing. It was a team of 10 students, um, so there was a print team, a video team, and an audio team. I was on the video team, and we were trying to figure out a way to organize everything collectively and make it one big collective piece. My experience with ICTV really helped me with the video, um, you know, learning Premiere, um, kind of figuring out, you know, how an audience should be told a story through video. So I've been on camera since the beginning, and it's really helped me with my broadcast skills, it's helped me with my camera skills, my editing skills, um, writing and broadcast style. This semester I'm actually taking on a new role. In addition to reporting, I am producing Good Day Ithaca, and I'm hoping that it'll carry me through um, because broadcast journalism is what I plan on doing. My name is Sarah Herbakowitz. I am a television radio major, Spanish and politics minor, and I'm a senior. So last fall, um, I interned on Capitol Hill for CBS News, uh, which was one of the coolest internships ever. Um, it was during midterm elections, and more importantly, it was during um, the Kavanaugh confirmation hearing and all the sexual assault allegations. George H.W. Bush passed away. It was like a big time on uh, Capitol Hill. I was an intern for CBS in New York twice. so. Uh, the first summer I did it, I was an intern for Steve Hartman uh, with the CBS Evening News. He would go on vacation for two weeks, and so would the producer, and I was took that chance to intern at every show at CBS. So I did Sunday morning, I did 60 Minutes for a few days, I did the local station for a few days, just made myself like so I could learn as much as I could. And in between um, that, I went to Korea for the Olympics in 2018 with NBC. My name is Tara Lynch. I am a sophomore journalism major here at the Park School. This summer I was an intern for NBC Connecticut News. I was with the news department and I was able to get my hand in kind of every different area of the newsroom. One of the most interesting stories I was able to cover uh, was a missing persons case. Since Saturday, state and local authorities have been searching the Shinipsit Forest for a summer's woman who was lost hiking. Today, they found her alive and transported her to a local hospital. We saw this tow truck coming out and they were removing the car. And we thought that's a bit strange because they hadn't done it all weekend. They had found the car two days prior. So we knew something was about to happen, but we need to scrap everything that we've done and rewrite the story around this. And it was really cool to be able to see all of that happen. In Ellington, Tara Lynch, NBC Connecticut News. My name is David Lillian. I'm from Bedford, New York. I am a sports media major and a sophomore at Ithaca College. So when I was a freshman in high school, I remember I was just on Instagram and I found this picture that was had been edited all sorts of ways. It was of a football player. And I found that there was a whole community of people on social media that was making this kind of content. And I started making little designs on my phone of pictures of athletes, editing them, and I eventually made the step up to using computer software and Photoshop to edit. And definitely the moment that uh, it struck me was when I got approached by the Wesleyan University head lacrosse coach, and he asked me to do some designs for them for their upcoming season. They said they would be made into posters, put around the school. So getting to do that and getting a paid opportunity was, was a moment that was like, wow, this is, this is pretty significant. I, I'm really doing this and making this all by myself. Getting familiar with the industry through graphic design really 
gave me uh, the vision into what the greater world of sports media was like. So now I have a ton more opportunities outside of that, still in the sports world that I can, uh, I can go for in the future. Avery Alexander, and I'm from Maryland, about an hour outside of DC. I started out with only reviews. I applied in my second semester of freshman year to be um, the assistant editor of the Life and Culture section. I ended up getting uh, awarded the Outstanding Freshman Award. I applied to be the Life and Culture editor this time. It's just I'm beyond what I imagined I'd be in my sophomore year of college. As Life and Culture editor, there's tons of responsibilities. So managing the writers is a big thing. I edit stories, so whenever somebody writes something in the Life and Culture section, it goes through me or it goes through my assistant, Arlie. Avery is a lot more direct than I am. She's a lot more aggressive in a good way about getting writers to put their stuff in on time. I feel like what got me here is me having a willingness to learn. Like me not going into this assuming I'm the best just because I was the editor-in-chief of my high school paper. I really want to diversify our content. That's my big thing this year. And I feel like being on the Ithaca has given me a chance to have a voice. And I want to give that to other people. And that's sort of my ultimate goal. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Kristen Moran and tonight there are- I am a senior journalism major and I am currently the host and producer for ICTV Reports and I'm also an anchor for Thursday News Watch. I think I was always on a path that was leading me to journalism but I never even realized it. Um, I've always enjoyed storytelling. I jumped on every show possible in the news department. Once my sophomore year hit, I was asked to attend a journalism program for some students with professors, and one of them was the March for Our Lives. We worked with MSNBC and NBC to cover everything and anything about the march. I bumped into a woman who was from Parkland. Having to ask those tough questions and having her, you know, she had a mix of you know anger and sadness and just having to stay together and compose but wanting to just reach out to and just give her a hug and, and say i'm so sorry um, that that day just really impacted me my name is sierra morabito and i'm a senior here at ithaca college i'm a television radio major i decided to go to los angeles my junior year in the spring so i applied to a ton of places and i happened to land two internships one was at united talent agency and i was an intern in the agent training program and then i was with nbc news and i was in broadcast operations and worked with a reporter for um, nbc's local news affiliate channel four in los angeles um, I had a really cool boss, so I was working with a reporter directly, so I would go on shoots with him, edit footage for him, um, write scripts for him, work with his guests on his new show. His name was Conan Nolan. So working at E! News was one of the coolest things that I did in LA and getting to attend um, the Oscars. So I was able to go working as a PA and also as a celebrity stand-in. So I also helped out with the glam bot. These experiences were all very beneficial to me in figuring out what exactly I wanted to do in the future. My name is Bronte Cook and I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, so this semester I'm the opinion editor of the Ithacan. Um, this is kind of big for me. I haven't worked for the Ithacan in a couple of years, so coming back onto this team is really exciting. Um, and we have a really, really awesome semester ahead of us. It's honestly such an amazing environment and I really love being able to write editorials and interview cool people. Um, so that's my main commitment this semester. I really want to get voices in the opinion section like that's a section where anyone can write like that's a privilege like that's awesome that we have that and being able to bring in these people whose voices aren't really heard anywhere else or like are diminished by the media on campus in general um, I think that's really important. When I was a freshman um, James Reda and some other professors took a group of us to Memphis to cover the 50th anniversary of MLK's assassination. I was thrown into this real professional environment where I was interviewing people and then editing my audio pieces, writing a script and like putting it on air. That definitely like made me feel really confident, especially as a freshman, knowing that I was like picked to go on this trip. Um, even, you know, freshman year can be hard and you're like, oh, I don't know if I'm doing what I'm supposed to, like I'm stressed out, especially me as like an anxious person. Um, so that was really affirming just for me and my journalism.